Hey Bellas, thank you for joining me here on my channel and today we are going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to show you how I wash, condition, and treat my clip-in extensions. The extensions that we will be washing today are the Bella Me, I believe they are the 22 inch extensions and I'm just going to take a paddle brush with little rubbery bristles like this one and I'm just going to brush through my um, extensions. I like to put them in my drawer because it's easier for me to brush them and things like that. So yeah, that's why they're in the drawer. <laughs> Now I believe these are um, a, they're either a 10 piece set or it's a 12 piece set, but I kind of have them layered up right here. It comes with four one clips, two two clips, three, or two three clips, and two four clips. So yeah, you do the math. <laughs> So once you are done brushing out all of the tangles, you will then want to take um, four thin hair bands and you will want to wrap them around the top of the sections of the hair that you have. Like I said, I have the four um, one-piece clips, the two two-piece clips, the two three-piece clips, and the two four-piece clips. So they are all sectioned and they are ready to be washed, and conditioned, and treated. The shampoo that I will be using today is the Elements Shampoo from Wella Professionals, and it is the renewing shampoo. I absolutely love the shampoo, it smells so good. The conditioner that we will be using is the Sea Minerals Moisture Conditioner by OGX. I like to get my water temperature to about like a lukewarm temperature. Um, that's just my uh, that's just my personal preference. But if you would like to do a little cooler, because I do hear that um, cooler water temperatures can help to eliminate frizz, then go right ahead. But the next few steps are pretty much simple and I'm just going to let you watch. I take my shampoo and I lather up um, the hair extension. I dip the hair extension into the water first, of course, and then I just lather it up until it gets to a nice um, soapy lather. And then I will rinse that out and then I will apply my conditioner. Now, when I apply my conditioner, I do not rinse it out right away. I let it sit there until I'm done um, shampooing and conditioning each set of hair extensions.
And then obviously our next step after uh, we have let the conditioner sit there is to just rinse out all of the conditioner. You want to make sure all of it's rinsed out or it will tend to look a little bit oily. So I just rinse it out, wring it, and then I'm hanging it um, on a towel to dry. Now that my extensions are all separated, I've taken the hair ties off of them. I'm just going to let them sit on the towel and dry for another 5 to 10 minutes. And now just taking a wide tooth comb and my It's a 10 um, keratin leave-in spray, I'm just going to then spray my extensions very lightly with this spray. What this is going to do is help any damage, any breakage, anything like that. And next with our wide tooth tooth <laughs> comb, we are then going to brush out our extensions. I always like to start from the bottom. I, um, I feel like it helps to eliminate any tangles that may occur with the extensions. I do use a wide tooth comb because it helps um, wet hair. You're really not supposed to brush your wet hair with anything else other than a wide tooth comb or just a comb in general. And then when I'm done brushing them all out, I will let them stay in that drawer and hang dry until they are completely dry. I do not like to blow dry them or um, straighten them right away because I try to eliminate any heat damage as much as I can. So I will just let them hang there and air dry on their own. And once they are done drying, they are then ready to be styled. So I like to store mine in a drawer. And that is it. So please thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to stay Bella. Mwah. Bye, guys.